this is the best set I've ever seen. Like I'm actually pulling the fish. Awesome. Like, <laughs> Yeah, we're all ready. It's uh, early morning. It's about half past three now. And uh, with me is Dalen, the other ambassador, junior ambassador uh, here in Cape Town. And uh, also we have Tarek Adams. He's our lucky winner. The competition I ran on Facebook. He's a lucky guy. He's all excited. He's all amped up. And um, yeah, he hasn't got a bronzy. So we are going to put him on a bronzy today. Yeah, we're here just to refuel. Pull our bellies, get something you know for the for the road, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the beach. Over to you, Dylan. Well, guys, we're gonna be heading off to Ao Crow. Can't wait, very amped. Can't wait to get those bronzes today. Hopefully, we all go fast. Well, you're gonna see me bending first, obviously, but yeah. You hope. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be bending first. So he's he's our priority today. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna put gonna uh, Tarek on the fish. Definitely. Hopefully yes. I'm Got really it? excited for this opportunity and I can't wait to get to it. Yeah guys, uh, yeah, catch us on the beach. I'm sure there's going to be action. Uh, I've just heard a rumor, a uh, little birdie told me that there was some fish yesterday. So I think we've got the bait, we've got everything sorted out. I've also got some other guest anglers with me uh, along the way on the beach. We'll introduce you to them. they part of my uh, friends, I'm going to call it. So yeah, sharing is caring. So. I've invited them along also to share in this experience we're going to have today and put everyone on the fish hopefully. So yeah, catch us on the beach. Cool guys. Okay, we just got here to Aircraft and one of my buddies who got here before me. We just got here now and his rod goes fuss. My buddy Nish is using a dog fight and yeah. He's ready for the battle. Well done. How's the gentleman? Well done, well done. Saltiga popping rod and a dog fight. Saltiga popping rod and a dog fight. Just dropped the first bait. It's quite misty here. We can't even see where the drone went, but uh, we had to drop it quickly. But we just dropped it over the, into the trough. In the trough we dropped it. So not too far. I think now when the sun comes up, well, I'll even wait out there and have a throw out there quickly. Hi guys. Um, yeah, well we just arrived at Ale Crown now. Um, we just saw somebody lost the bronzy there. But yeah, we're gonna try to get our baits in the water and get on ourselves. Saltus 8000, uh, Daiwa Grande Elite, the medium heavy 15 foot, great setup for these big fish, that's all you need. We're gonna take out a bait for um, Tariq here, uh, yeah he's all excited, so he's got a Saltus 6500 and a Saltus Grand Elite 15 foot, 40 pound J braid. So, you excited? Very excited. You're looking forward to this thing? You want to catch a bronzy? Good. We're going to try our best to put you on a bronzy, eh? Okay, yeah, let's go. Gonna go tight. Another sandy bait. Yeah, we just dropped that one at 300 meters. Yeah, uh, yeah. So all the other baits were a little closer, so nothing much was happening. So we pushed this one a little further. So let's see what happens. It's not that conducive. The water's just gone ice cold. Ice, ice, ice cold. I stepped in the water now and my ankle just started to freeze up, so 
and it's gone quiet and there's a bit of uh, kelp also floating around and hooking onto our line. So we've made a call, we're going to leave here now while the going is good, uh, while we've still got some time. We're going to head back to Cape Town, Paul's Bay, and uh, we're going to try Strandfontein and uh, work our way up maybe towards Simonstown. Uh, there have been a couple of raggies and odd bronzy at Strandfontein, um, Broken Road, Strandfontein uh, pool area. Um, that's our only call now and um, I think it's going to be a good call because here we're going to get absolutely nothing and also it's starting to drizzle a bit and the, the mist hasn't cleared up as yet so yeah we're battling to even see 50 meters here so yeah we're going to head down that way the weather is much better and hopefully we'll go on to some fish. Calibrating the compass. The gyro. We're here at Strandfontein Broken Road, all the way from Aylcroft. The conditions here look much, much better. Uh, I'm going to drone a bait first. First uh, throw or first bait. It's going to be droned out. Um, I'm going to drone a bonny head, a nice sandy bonny head. And um, yeah, I'm not going to take it out too far. I'm going to take it out about 250 because that's where the uh, the drop off is. I just want to get it over the drop off. No one, you're not going to cast a bait there. Even if you had to wait, you're not going to. Two, one, top shot out. In the zone. Got some uh, weed, some grass in the yeah. bottom here. Just keep it up so it just doesn't go on. Are you ready, eh? So we're here at Strandfontein, um, close to the Palakis. I'm going to drone out this yellowtail chunk. Well, as you can see, I'm using a nun's method of a sand bomb bait. Well, hopefully, I go on now. I'd just like to introduce my guest anglers today. You all know Tariq, he was the guy that won the uh, Facebook, the Lucky Angler draw. And also my good mates, Zane and Anthony, they always fish with me. And I've invited them along today to come fish with us. Um, we're always together, we're always helping and sharing our, our knowledge and our resources also. So it goes hand in hand and plus when we come to the beach, we have a good, good chawl, a good party here. You know, even if the fish is not biting, we still have a good day of fishing. So, yeah, Dalen, the other ambassador. We also started off in the morning with some other guest anglers. Uh, they are not here now because they're still at Ale Craw. And, um, yeah, hopefully they're catching some fish. The weather wasn't that grand. We left, we came all the way back here. It looks very nice here. And I'm quite confident we're going to get a pull here. Yeah, guys, I'm just re-spooling my... My Saltiga 50 HA. Uh, the other night when I was using, uh, using it, I had a fish on and it reefed me. But I didn't get to, a chance to spool it, so no, I need to spool it. I'm using 0.58 Kingfisher. It's awesome. It, the reel takes about 600 meters of uh, backing and it takes 250 meters of 0.58, so it's more than enough. Fontaine. The water is not bad at all. Uh, it's, the temperature is about 17 degrees. Not, not bad. Good. Uh, see, there's a lot of brown patches of water. That's actually more like, like plankton in the water. And a lot of mullet. There's a, there's a lot of mullet. A lot of shoals of mullet in that brown water. Uh, like a chocolatey color brown water. And um, I don't know if that's keeping the fish away. But yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we, there's a bit of a headwind and um, it, it looks good, eh? it just looks, feels good, I feel good, but 
think you just need to persist a bit and uh, then you're going to get a pull. There's a lot of anglers down the beach. Everyone just standing. I think mostly mostly edible guys, top anglers. And yeah, they're just standing. But I can see now we may have one issue here. There's a lot of kelp that's washing out. And um, that could give us a bit of a problem here. I think we'll just onshore wind. Pushing all the kelp closer. The kelp that's floating around, it's pushing it to us here and it's causing a bit of a problem. But it's not bad right now, but we'll just assess the situation as, it, as we go along. Now we've got a variety of baits out, yellowtail, sada, mackerel, and um, yeah, it's about time. I mean that's fishing, we just need to give it time and they will come. And the other thing I noticed here, you get what I call peak period. And um, what's been working here is on that full tide drop, that's a peak period, and on the dead low. So we had a full tide and it just started to drop. So we're going to give it a couple more hours here, maybe another two hours. If nothing's happening here, then we will uh, maybe make a call to move to Simonstown because Simonstown, it's a low tide spot and um, yeah, going into the low that could work. There has been there have been some um, black skates there. I lost a couple monsters and uh, got a couple of small bronzies also out there. So I think that's our other option. Yeah, I think we the other day we covered mileage and we got fish at the end right on our doorstep. So today we also recovered mileage all the way from Elkrau, Hansbar, which is like about 200 k's. We get it's front contain now. And if that doesn't work, I think we're going to mission down to Simonstown. Hopefully something happens there. Drop this one about 220 meters. That wasn't meant to happen. Now we took out the bigger drone. We're going to take a bait out, say about 500 meters. Ready to go tight. Ah, it's a little bit quiet. We're trying different tactics, but uh, ah, it's, it's not working. So we're going to give it another, maybe another hour here. So the tide's still dropping. And then if nothing works, we're gonna maybe head out over to Simon's Town and try our luck there. Yeah guys, um, we're here at Simon's Town, the home of the giant black skates, the Paley, and also bronzies. Uh, yeah, there was nothing on the other end, so we made the call to come here from Strandfontein. We're gonna be waiting out here, throwing bait. As you can see, it's very deep all along here uh, there's a wreck out there that's part of an old wreck sometimes if you hook a fish it does go that way and he'll cut you off there's a scattered rock about three four hundred meters out but if you hook a bronzy and it says on the top you're safe the black skates they mostly tend to stick in the bottom and they either go left or right so if they go a bit right you stand a better chance but there is a reef that also runs out in the front here, but um, you never know with these fish. Eh? They can be up or down, you never know. The other thing we need to watch out for here is a train. This is an active train line. Uh, yeah, so just stay clear of the line. The tide's good. This is a low tide spot. That's why we chose it. Uh, just hopefully it pans off. I'm putting out the big gun. That's what we need here. Yeah? The fish are not small. It's a nice fish. Sada sada. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just gonna put a bit of cotton just to keep the hook in place. I just like to wind it up a bit. I don't know if you can see, I'm winding it up. Basically, that just keeps the guts in place. This is where all the scent is, all the blood and the scent that comes out of here. So you're just kind of keeping it intact. 
Nothing fancy. We here at Simon's Town. I'm gonna be showing you a bait. This is gonna be a drone bait. As you can see, it's a normal full metal jacket, 200 pound steel, um, a 12 0 tuna circle with a 13 0 ring soy. Very good hooks. I've never had problems with any of these hooks. And as you can see, I'm gonna be making a nice fillet bonny bait because we are we're targeting black paleys, bronzies, and spear nose skates. So, um, and not to forget the homemade dingle. This dingle gives you enough flotation, it'll keep your bait on the top, and the skirt will give you a lot of movement in the water. Because as you can see, the water is also quite clean. So you need a bit of that movement and color in the water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut a normal cutlet. The spawn is a bit, um, Pop, so it's going to be quite hard to work with, but I can definitely try it. So I would just take one fillet, just like this, and just make this nice mushy bait for these black skates. So, like you, you don't want really a hard bait, but you you can. It's your preference. I prefer targeting these fish with a nice mushy bait. Um, so they don't really feel anything when they sit on it. Normal latex cotton, the thick. Nice mushy bait, very soft. I'm trying to make it as neat as I can, but it's very pop, so I'm gonna try to shape it with my hands. It's a very bloody bait. And now I'm just gonna add this liver and all these, all this guts onto it, just to give it a, mo a bit more flavor. As you can see, this liver is very, very soft. So as when I, when, I, when we drop this bait in the water, all this liver will dissolve. So that's why I like to add like more flesh onto it. So it's like a slow, it's a slower release. So your bait can last longer in the water. Okay guys, so this here is the final product. I tried to make it as neat as possible. Um, it's a very juicy bait, <laughs> oh, oh, I can say that. Um, as you can see it's full of flavor but sometimes I would just um, roll it in sand just for that slower release but yeah this will work like a bomb it will work like a bomb and with this bait here I'm targeting a bronzy uh, you can even catch a raggy on this bait uh, but I wouldn't really say a raggy would come out here at Simon's Town but mostly a black paley a black paley will take this bait and guys always insert your hook very nicely, it must always be stern. Whenever I put my second hook in, I always put a toothpick in because normally your hook bends like this, especially with the flatfish when it sits on your bait. So then you don't get that proper hook up. That's why I always put a toothpick. That's all I would do. 12 0 tuna circle, 13 0 ring soy. Can't go wrong. Salt is 8,000 is all you need. 40 pound J-Braid, holds like a bomb. Yeah, I just want to present this lovely Daiwa Rash vest to Tariq. This is uh, sponsored or donated from one of my friends, Anwar uh, Ibrahim. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. We had fun. Pretty is a bit quiet, but I know we're still going to fish into the night. So hopefully something happens and you get a fish. It's nice to see a smile on, on a young lad's face. Uh, I think what's going to top it off now is if he gets a fish. Tariq's on here yeah, with a nice fish. This is on the LD60. We put out a big bait for him earlier on. Uh, it was a bonny head. It was still for a while. Tariq's other rod went on there just now and he missed it. And this rod went. Uh, it seems to be like a, a bronzy. It ran in the beginning. It had a good run. Now it just stopped. But it's, it's, it's tightened flat, the drag right? a bit. Is it sitting flat? That's fine. Alright, it's moving. 
<laughs> it is moving. <laughs> Don't let go run. Right? <laughs> it's really fun, so just keep it like that. I mean, you signed up for this, eh? Yeah. You wanted this. Just don't let go of the rod, whatever you do. <laughs> you can walk back if you want. Just walk, keep walking. You see a low ratio? Okay, you can do it forward. Yeah. Go back in there. Keep walking. Just hold it. Ooh, the streamer. This fish is killing me right now. It's killing you. Teamwork, yeah. yeah you need to pull it. We don't want you to go to the left now. Eh? It feels like a good fish. Maybe about 100 kilos, 80 to 100 kilos. That forward tuna circle is holding nicely. As I told you before, it's only hook I trust. The fish is sitting. Go, 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 it's coming. Go ahead. Yeah. Tarek seems to be doing well. It's got 80 pound tackle there. So it, the fish has turned and it's coming in a bit. So there's a small reef out in the front here. So we're just worried we're going to pull it a bit into that reef, but it's fine. Uh, when it gets closer, we'll just move a bit to the left so we can just avoid that reef and uh, pull it more into the bay. Hopefully it behaves as we planned. We've waited the whole day for this pull. Tarek's excited and um, yeah, going to give him all the support he needs. Juniors seem to be having fun there, both tag teaming that fish. Uh, it seems to be working, it's giving uh, Tariq a bit of a breather. It's his first fish, so we need to give him a break. Uh, but he's still determined to land it, and uh, he's doing well. He's doing well. Our, day, our ambassador, Dale, and they is showing him the ropes. And looks like, yeah, they, they're drilling a bit there, the juniors. So it's good. It's good to see this type of interaction and yeah Taiwan magic guys Taiwan magic sharing is caring that's what it's all about this is my son's first fish so he's really excited so the muscles are paining already <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing well he's doing well he's learning quite a bit on the job training as they say yeah. and uh, this is a very exciting day for him in class as well yeah. to you all thank you you all supported him the whole day yeah. you're over here supporting him yeah, no, really. Awesome, yeah. awesome family. Um, yeah, now as you said, to top it off. We've got something. Yeah, he's going to land yeah. this fish. That, that's yeah. a cherry on the top. Yeah. And we're going to put another bit after this for another one. <laughs> so we're going to stay here the whole night. <laughs> yeah, Dalen's trying to pull this thing as hard as it can because it's going to the right and there's some other lines on the right. So it seems to be working. Uh, he stopped the fish. Now it's kind of coming in a bit so doing the right thing so just hopefully it plays ball and this is the best setup ever <laughs> like, <laughs> I did, like I'm actually pulling the fish awesome. like. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks. Your first bronzy? Yes. You did very well, eh? Thank you to Anand and ASFN for giving me this opportunity. Well done. Well done. 